so many foods, so little time. This is literally a delicious three-day event, a feast for your eyes and for your tummy. The annual Fancy Food Show in San Francisco at Moscone Center allows the Specialty Food Association to bring more than 1,400 exhibitors together to pitch a world of food products. For me, for the food industry in San Francisco, you have to be here. You have to be, I mean, it is it's San Francisco. And we work with the most amazing chefs, in the, you know, some of the most amazing chefs in the country. Here, so, yeah, we love it. The Fancy Food Show in San Francisco in particular is our, again, it's our home market. It's where we see people that we've been seeing them for two decades who have been our customers. I have people that have come out and visited us at the farm previously. They've been involved in a, a cheese tour. So it's just our oldest group of customers. There's a mom and pop, you know, small company like us, like a long time ago to the large company and in it, that is showing the most innovative thing and uh, trendy item all the time. Coming coming out with uh, new packaging or new thing, new layer of a lot of things. That's really important to just you know that you know, in, in the industry. And also international business as well. Lots of international products. You can see everything only once. I love San Francisco. I was born and raised over in Oakland. So, so I, uh, I always look forward to coming to the city. It's local for us. So it's an opportunity for us to connect face to face with a lot of our existing customers um, and, and for everyone who's attending the show give an opportunity to taste our products because like I said they're, they're, they're completely addictive. Some products are traditional, many more the latest artisan or health trends and innovations. But there is no doubt something for everybody here. Our product holds up pretty identical to an albacore in terms of protein levels. It's about 13 to 15 grams of protein per serving. Um, and then also the omega balance we have, we use a DHA oil, so we use an algae oil. Um, you know, tuna and fish eat algae, this is why they smell like fish, <laughs> you know, so, uh, so we're going right to the source of using the algae oil, um, which is a balance of those, those omegas that people look for in tuna. So we have a chai bar on the Market Street in downtown San Francisco, Market at 6. It's a large place, it's really fun, exciting, lots of innovations going, so many variety of chai tea. We support uh, endangered species organization, so some of the profit always go there, even before we grew big. Even the day that we started a business, that was a big back backbone of business too. So it's, yeah. yeah, it's really important. Northern California is really a food basket. Uh, there are a lot of newcomers coming in that are more artisan, that are doing uncured salumi items and that sort of thing. But Molinari is just kept with the original recipes that the great, great, great grandfather brought over in the 1880s. Uh, and the, the equipment's gotten a little bit more modernized, but the product is virtually the same as it was back then. I'm a professional chef. It was a void in the food industry. that all of a sudden I found something that's actually delicious and healthy. And at the same time, something that doesn't really exist. So we had a struggle the last 25 years to educate the American consumer. But now they know grapeseed oil is the next big thing. Olive oils had a long history. It's peaked over a billion dollars in sales. Grapeseed oil is coming. The fancy food show is in its mid-40s, but shows no signs of tiring. Food has never been more interesting or more popular, so foodies and food professionals never miss this chance to one-stop shop the food world. <laughs>